Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode of Lo-Fi Beats You Can Shoot Film To. Well, I get asked a lot, what is the most important piece of gear that makes the biggest difference in your photo? Typically, people say it's the lens in the film, but no. Actually, it is your backpack that makes the biggest difference. So let's take a look at the Jumper, the new hot bag from Brevity that's already been sold out three times this year. Here to carry all your camera gear and emotional baggage. Oh wait, their website says it won't carry your emotional baggage. Could uh, really use that. Full disclosure, Brevity sent this bag over for me to check out. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a full, but hopefully fair review of the bag from the perspective of someone who dominantly shoots film. And believe me, it can hold a lot of film. Before I got down to reviewing the bag, I figured I should take it on a full test run, including taking it on a hike. So I grabbed my main homie Caleb because apes together strong, and we headed out to do a fully clothed photo shoot. The completely uncensored version will be up on my OnlyFans account soon. I brought my Mamiya 7 and some Kodak Ektar 100. Don't get too excited about the Ektar though, it's all I had. So the jumper comes in two different colors, blue, green, black, tan, pink, red, light blue, teal, gray, and caution tape yellow. The yellow one is so yellow, you might as well be wearing a banana costume. And by that I mean, you'll be easy to spot and never missed in a crowd, or accidentally run over by your grandma and her blue 97 Pontiac on your way home from soccer practice ever again. I'm hoping. What's crazy to me is this backpack seems I guess like normal sized or maybe even a little small on the outside, but on the inside, there's a ton of room. I can literally fit my massive Pentax 6x7, my slightly smaller Mamiya 7, my Canon AE-1 with the battery winder, and my Contax T2 in this bag, and even still have room for a flash unit, and none of them are directly bumping up against each other. So if you're anything like me, and you can never decide which camera to bring, so you end up bringing them all, then this may be the camera bag for you. The jumper comes in at 18 liters, which is approximately 77 hot dogs if you smash them down a little. Don't ask me in the comments how I got that number because once I tell you, you'll understand why I'm never allowed inside of a wiener schnitzel ever again. Hell, the bag can even fit Caleb's glorious 4x5 large format camera all on its own. The bag itself is very well padded and it even comes with these little inserts to section off the main compartment of your backpack so that none of your cameras or lenses will hit each other and create dents. Like a dent in the shape of a frightened little boy on his way home from soccer practice. On the side of the backpack there's a slot to hold your water bottle or whatever else you're drinking that day. No judgment here. You can also use the bottle holder to slide in a tripod and then strap it down nice and snug. The possibilities are endless. On the other side of the bag, there's an easy access zipper so you can quickly grab your camera without having to set down the whole bag. On the underside of the bag, there are two straps here for carrying even more stuff. In the past, I've used these straps to carry tripods, rolled up blankets, and even Baxter's mini skateboard. That's right, Baxter can kickflip. Can you? On the top there's a special zipper that leads to a very thin compartment that seems specially designed to hold your laptop because, let's be honest, you're always on the go. There's even a bonus passport compartment here in case you find yourself in a binding legal situation and need to flee the country quickly. Overall the quality of the material used on this bag seems pretty nice and with the stitching and everything I could easily see it lasting quite some time. Although I do wish the shoulder straps were a little bit beefier as they seem kind of thin. And while we're making suggestions, go ahead and throw in a cross chest clip. In 
terms of comfort, on our very short hike, I actually kind of forgot that the bag was there, which is a good thing, I think. A lot of bags nowadays get bogged down with zippers, straps, and clips, so it's refreshing to use a bag that's a little more simplistic in its design, and uh, pretty easy on the eyes, too, if you know what I'm saying. But don't just take my word for it. Here's Caleb's take on the brevity jumper. <laughs> ah! What the hell, man? I'm, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, The brevity backpack? is is really really good no, no, <laughs> caleb has had the jumper since december so you know he's telling the truth so yeah the overall design of the bag is a solid 9 out of 10 for me the only thing that trips me up are these main compartment zippers that are kind of layered behind the front compartment zippers here oftentimes i'll grab the wrong zipper thinking it's the other one because they're so close to each other you can put your laptop chargers and other shit, like a snickers bar in this uh separate front pocket just uh don't forget about your Snickers bar, otherwise it'll melt to the bottom of your bag and it'll kind of look like you forgot to take off your backpack the last time you started spray shitting. I know that's kind of a gross image, but it's not totally unjustified if you've ever seen or lived in a men's bathroom. Do you want me to just go? Um, my thoughts. The great thing about it is that it literally can house every single one of my cameras. Overall, it's pretty durable. Well, the other thing that uh, I enjoy heavily is the fact that it has a laptop holder in the back. I take my laptop literally everywhere. So Do you have it with you right now? Okay, fine. This thing has been on my back for probably the last three months. The quick access pocket is great. All of my other camera bags, like, doesn't have that quick access pocket. And there's a few things that, you know, could be improved, I would say. The zipper on the back, these two zippers, they're the same thing. You, you, you mix them up all the time. Just, uh... Make them different colors, right? I don't know. With this lemon yellow one, that's probably gonna be the biggest con overall. It's, it's gonna get a little, just a little, little, little um, you know, a little dirty. All right, let's talk about pricing. The jumper retails for a one-time payment of $120 or 5,000 payments of two cents, if you wanna think about it like that. Personally, I think a lot of, I guess, photography backpacks are wildly expensive, and most of the time it's justified. However, I think that the jumper's kinda on the lower end of the price range if you were to compare it to something from another company. So me personally, I think the bang for your buck here is quite good. Plus it looks really cool. So yeah, what else can I say? I think the bag is pretty awesome and more importantly, it's quite functional. You could say I'm a eager beaver for the future as I hope to see Brevity develop more products that push their brand and style further. Until then, however, I'm excited to learn if I've been pronouncing Brevity right or wrong this whole video. Peace.